it's so funny because there's a hashtag people use with me. I don't know why they're like the mother. I'm like, wait a minute, goddamn, I'm not that old. Wait. <laughs> I can hear you. I'm eating my protein pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You've got to put your health first at these times. You're working hard. Yeah, but it's okay. I love it. It's for you guys. So, yeah, I have a purpose. <laughs> I love this. It feels so casual, like we're friends. I feel at home right now. <laughs> yeah, you are, honey. You are. You are. It's all energy. <laughs> One you know. honor, honestly. Oh, no, Lorene, I'm so excited to talk to you. Thank you so much for joining our podcast and just taking, giving you, giving us your time. It's so appreciated, but I know you're so busy at the moment. Don't worry about it. I'm here and I'm queer. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I love it. What, what an icon you are. You know, I just, I feel like I need to start by just saying, you know, it's just so good to see you back in the Eurovision space. I think it's just like, it's where you belong. It really is. It's your scene. And it's been almost 11 years since you won the contest, of course, we know. And there must have been so much growth as an artist and as a person in that time. So how how would you say you've changed in that time? Oh, wow, darling, this is a good question. I don't know. <laughs> have I trained? No, no. no, I'm just kidding. But I mean, I think one big thing is... I mean, it's of course creatively, everything creatively is a big deal. I, it is important that it's authentic, but at the same time, I feel like, I don't know, uh, feel a lot more at ease and joyful and I can play around with, create creatively play around even more. It's like, I don't know, it's just, it, it feels like the energies are so much lighter now. I guess it's because of the growth part, I guess. <laughs> no, but so, uh, and I also landed the fact that, that, as you said, I feel like I am, I'm with people that, in this community that has the same values as me, you know? It's just like, it's something very powerful with what we're doing and what we stand for. And, you know, the fact that we're growing as a community. I like to say we, I just love it. <laughs> No, so because uh, uh -huh. it's been like it's been a bumpy ride, you know, getting to know the business, learning about yourself, like where to go and how to to tackle, handle other energies, you know, being like trying to, you know, be steady and balanced within yourself with all these things going on because we're just creators, like all of. I mean, so I mean, I've I've strengthened myself and I'm very clear of where I want to go and how I can communicate that. It's a lot of things that happen, you know, and doing it joyfully, not like, you know, it's not that energy, you know. <laughs> so a lot of changes. I feel it's so funny because there's a hashtag people use with me. I don't know why they're like the mother. I'm like, wait a minute, goddamn, I'm not that old. Wait. <laughs> I feel like mother is a feeling, it's an icon status, you know, to the to the community of, of Eurovision and, and you know, so many other communities. You are seen as mother because you're you're just you're seen as a queen, you know, a queen of Eurovision and music. And it's you mentioned the change and it's a good thing to change, you know, and there is that growth. It might seem cliche, but you have grown in so many ways, which is so it's exciting to see. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, I know I do like, I do like the, because I feel very motherly, to be honest. Like, I don't know why. And I, but also, yeah, I also feel like I have a, a purpose doing this. And I know exactly what I want to give you guys. And it's like, on one hand, yeah, mother, but at the same time, I use the term servant like of creativity that I give like I you know I have something that I want to give you guys you know and it's pure and it's authentic and authentic and it's love you know and it's not about the performance and the things that I've you know that it's not about it's about us yeah. you know because something that I've created resonates with what you have inside and like you see how it goes around like you know so it's very magical and here's another thing that is very magical I'm going to tell you about it 
So I don't know if you know about numerology. Yes, Do you know? I've heard it, yes. So my number is 11. Oh, yeah. good number. Yeah. And so it was 11 years euphoria was. Yeah. Are you with me? And I'm with I have, you. And I have number 11 on the semifinal. How crazy is that? Now you said it, I haven't heard that. That must, it's it must have so some significance. Yeah, do you, how do you crazy. See it? Do you see the number 11 a lot in your like day-to-day -day life? I do. I don't know why, but it's a cycle. Like something, it's like, oh, like uh, there is something, I don't know. So I think I, I'm meant to be here and I'm meant to do things that I'm doing and it's all for you. And I just love that space. I really I'm just sad. love that space. One hundred and eleven percent, of course, it's true. <laughs> it's it's a magical thing, you know. The way you've explained it is just so beautiful, and I think it's it's a really unique thing to be able to say I've done Eurovision twice, and only so many people can say that. I think it is is magical in itself. How how does that feel to be able to say that? Yeah, well, I mean, it feels wonderful. I mean, it's. Be honestly I didn't I didn't think that this sometimes you think you know what you, where you're heading and you know like this is my path but it's not really it's not the path that will make you happy and so I I didn't imagine myself that life wanted me to, to take this path to your vision and everything again and so when I got the song and I, these things happening one thing after the other I'm like I don't have a fucking clue like I think I know where I'm going but Obviously, I'm very happy where I'm at right now. So I didn't know, like, you know, so this it wasn't planned. It just happened and it's beautiful. So I, I'm I'm happy to be part of my family again. Yeah. Like, it is family. I, it's the people. It is the people. And it's crazy because throughout all these years, I've always somehow been connected, like doing these performances, going back and forth, like, oh, but I want to do that. Yeah, and then I'm doing my stuff and then it comes back. Oh, I want to do that. Like every like certain Eurovision things, like I want to do that. And so I've always like kept it, you know, always kept it alive in my life, you know, subconsciously. Like, oh, I, oh, I want to do that, you know. So um, it's interesting. So it yes, I-, I part. Yeah. Yeah. It will always be a part of your life, Florine. That's the thing. Like you like you uh, you've won it. It's of course it will. But now it's it's come back and it's it's obviously different this time. But I'm sure you've seen the fans' reactions and how happy they are just to see mother come back on the stage. <laughs> and it's it's yeah. magical, but it's Lorene, it's not just the fans, it's the other entries as well, the other acts this year. You know, I've I've talked to Dilia, I've talked to Alessandra and, and Noah Corral, and they've all mentioned you as an inspiration, as a, a competition. You know, how does that feel to know that your young women in particular look up to you in such an inspiring way? It makes me happy. I, I don't know if it's because the way I see things and I've been really propagating for this because there, you know, some journalists have been like, yeah, well, it's a competition. I'm like, yeah, but you know what? That's not the way I see it. It is a competition and the, the, I call it a play and I, it's it's really important. The competition is really important because that is what includes us. You know, you know, we, people gathering like, you know, I'm, I believe in that one. That one is going to win. I'm going to vote for that one. You know, the whole it's a it's it's a beautiful play that we need because it's inclusive so I, I i i i understand that part but the way i see it spiritually if you look at all the artists all of us have different colors like you know different energies you know if you look at for instance alessandra she's like she has she reminds me very much of when i was her age like she has this warrior energy like wow you know and it's so that resonates it connects it, she gives out a certain energy that is needed my energy is more, as you say, more motherly, you know, it goes another way, you know, you see what I mean? And so it works a different part of the body or called whatever. And then there is like, you know, so you see these different colors going in. So the way I see it, I was like, okay, guys, we're going to do some work here on the world. Okay. We're going to, you know, we're going to send out some really interesting vibrations here. So this is my mindset. So when I meet all of the artists, I haven't met all of them. I'm like, oh, like Paloma, I'm like, Oof, that is a spiritual energy. The way she chants, like, even though if it's subconscious or conscious, I, it doesn't matter. It just, it gives me goosebumps when I think about it. 
so you see what I mean? These are really important things. And so if that, and that's the energy that I'm sending out. So there is no threat. Uh, Doesn't exist. I, 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 I see where you're coming from and the way you've explained it again is so beautiful because it's like you've all you all offer something unique and it's it's all added together in some kind of a unit that it's it's all you know it comes together as one and I think with your song in particular with tattoo like you mentioned with energy I feel the energy of the song and the message you're sending is so powerful um it's not just me of course it resonates with all the fans and we all have a special it has a special place in our heart I just I'd love to hear from you the process of creating that song and what it means to you personally as well you know I, you know because the, the embryo of the song was sent to me like thomas gerson he sends me a song every two years like mm, you know it just comes in you know wow you know and i remember it was late evening and i was i was sitting by myself you know i have like these moments before i go to bed i'm like okay you know he sent me a song that's interesting he, he hasn't sent me a song for a long time okay i played the song and honestly like halfway when i came to the after the chorus i shut it down i'm like stop because i got an instant connection and just and, and it was so overwhelming so it scared the shit out of me i'm like i don't know ah, oh, like what's going on because i could say going on like i don't know if something's gonna happen with the song and me and i'm like so i called it the day after i'm like did you write this demo specifically and when did you do it? He's like, I, yeah, I did. He said, yeah, I did. And it was two years ago. Okay. Okay. And it didn't anything, but I could, I could sense it. And so when I went into the studio, it just took me one. I, I, I mean, I knew the song before. I didn't. It didn't take much. Stop. No, but so, so the process, the creative process, when it came to the song, and and I, I remember and they know me. I'm like because it's like music is a it is a tool and it's very spiritual so you need to use it the right way you can use it to segregate divide people and you can use it to you know it's very sacred for me so i i when i went into the studio like uh, nobody say anything whatever happens happens no rules no regulations just be children flow happiness joy <laughs> peace. and everybody was like okay you know <laughs> and yes. so it was and it just flowed, man. It was just like everything just, and whatever happened, happened. You know, yeah. it just it was it was meant to be. And you get that feeling when you hear you sing it. It's it's your song, and it's it is yours. Like you feel you feel that power you explained. But you know, it needs to be said. It's not just your voice that brings that power. It's your performance, your choreography, the staging. All of it in in one, you know, brings that energy that's needed from the song. And I'd just love to know, you know, because the fans want to know so badly as well with your performance plans for the the live shows. Is there anything you can tell us about what to expect? Because of course the staging is so loved among the fans, but there's a lot of rules at Eurovision, aren't there, for what stages can be brought? Um, so could you tell us a bit about that, maybe? Oh, you mean for the Eurovision? Yeah, it's been it's been a process. It's back and forth. What is? I mean. I am, I mean, spiritual, but I'm also very technical. I love technique. Like, you know, what is the latest technique? What can we use? How can we create this safe space? Blah, 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 blah. And so it's been a lot of technical discussions back and forth. Like, how can we make, because there's, there's safety and bada boom, bada bam. And they're like, nah, I don't know if it's going to be safe. Oh, it's going to be safe. It is going to be safe. <laughs> I can sense it's going to be safe. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's been, like, don't have to worry about that like so it's been back and forth and trying to look at like uh no so yeah yeah it's been back and forth but we've landed on something you know there is no such thing as it's impossible it is possible we just haven't found the, the way to do it yet that's the way i see it so that has been like my yeah, but because it is like that. There's no such thing as you can't. Like, oh yeah, maybe I can't right now. I just haven't found the right way to do it. But it's 100% possible, you know. Absolutely. I mean, like yeah, you know, I don't know how to fly right now, <laughs> but I'm working on it. No. <laughs> It's things you can make happen. Anything is possible. And it's the power of manifesting as well. And I feel like you can do that. And, you know, that brings me to something I, I feel like you've manifested is to get onto Drag Race, because I have to talk about this, you know it. 
your your special guest judge spot on Drag Race Sweden. It was so great to see you on there. I just want to know, <laughs> lastly, how was that experience for you with the queens? Because you looked like you were in your element. I loved it. You know, they, you know, they sparked and it was so, it was so, so interesting to watch myself because I'm like, I felt so, it was, I was, I just love that space so very much because it's, you know, they play with feminine masculinity hyped up and, you know, it was so exciting for me to be in that. And they just, they just intensified that part of me, you know, I, you know, you know, I could be more of like ladylike and it was just so, it was, it was so exciting to just play around with, you know, I don't know if you saw it because we were like, mm, ah, ah, doof, wah, like, you know, so it was, I, I just, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. And I'm like these, these drags are so, these queens are so beautiful. And I had to focus because sometimes I lost myself when I see things that are beautiful. I, I, I can't really do anything else but to look. They must have thought I was a freak. I'm like, you're so beautiful, <laughs> like you know. You look, you look so at home. Like it was your place, and they embraced yeah, I you. Love it. It was you, like, you love belong. It. You belong oh on that God. stage. Yes, <laughs> because it's so free, and you know there are no rules and regulations. They play, and they're loud, and they're you know sexy, and you know everything. Like you know, and so, and it's nice. To, I mean, yeah. So yeah, you could tell. Like I. You could. But also, you know, to be honest, like you know, what I also felt like where we also connect is like you know, to hear the stories of these queens, like also the struggle that they've been through, just to be able to be, you know, who they are, like you know, and I and I and I and I connected with them, like yeah, isn't it interesting how life works in a mysterious way? We have to struggle, but once we're on the other side, we're so determined and we know exactly this is me, and you know, so there's something beautiful that comes out of that shitty struggle that we had. I mean, so it was just like very, yeah, healing also. This is why we call you mother, because, you know, the drag community and the queer community have really embraced you. And we just we just love you and we really celebrate everything you bring us with your creativity. And we always will to the Eurovision <laughs> stage as well this year. We'll be cheering you on. I'm I, you know what? I'm lucky. I don't know what I've done in my past life to deserve this, but I'm thankful. And I'm I'm really I really am like, you know, and I I just feel like I and you know me by now. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, give you all that I have. And it's such a beautiful space to be in. There is no holding back shit, okay? Fuck that. I will give you like on an energy level, like everything. So when I, when it's over, it's like, you know, I'm gonna be like, I need to fill up some energy now because I'm totally empty. <laughs> you know, I gave it all uh, up. <laughs> Louise, That's we... Gonna- we love you. I have to say your vibe is amazing. It's amazing. Like what what is going on, man? I'm like Thank excited you. over here. Oh god. Okay.